There's another story that I've been wanting to get to. And this definitely has had the internet buzzing all this week. And that is one Mrs. Aisha Curry. Now, video has leaked out recently of her pretending to take off her wedding ring when she was on the now canceled talk show, The Real, a couple of years ago, when a topless man, who I suspect to be a male stripper, allegedly, came on the stage. And, you know, Aisha definitely was basking in his all his glory she pretended to take off her wet you know fakes taking off her wedding ring now a lot of people definitely have gone in on her on social media ever since the video leaked out in a lot of ways rightfully so because look now we remember and also i did a video on this a few years ago when she came out on jada pinkett's um now defunct show red table talk saying that you know she wished men would give her more attention just like women give steph more attention it's like aisha come on sweetheart baby you are the wife of an nba player there are a lot of women out there would definitely do almost anything to be next to just even get in the same atmosphere as steph to just be in the same room with them and they definitely would go through a lot of crazy lengths, excuse me, to be Mrs. Steph Curry. You know, you've gotten your own, you definitely had your own thing. You've put out cookbooks, you had a TV show, you got restaurants. Like, you don't need, you really don't need all that attention. You know, just having all that is enough. You got your own shine. And you can shine your own way without trying to out. It's like you trying to outshine your own husband. Well, you don't have to. <coughs> Excuse me. Both of you got both of y'all can shine together. And it's like you just so it's like you're more caught up in the spotlight and not focusing on your husband. So you so yeah so doing so you doing that that's definitely disrespectful to Steph because Steph is definitely a good dude I can just tell his his heart's in the right place now look I may not like him when he's on the court against my favorite team but that's another discussion for another day <laughs> but man Steph is a good dude actually and also I wasn't one of the people booing him when he was here in Cleveland for the All Star game that was the other folks in the arena. <laughs> But it's like, Aisha, if you really not that, uh, if you really feel you're that unhappy, then maybe y'all need to, yeah, maybe y'all got some things to talk about. Maybe y'all got some things to work out because you don't have to do all this for attention. You don't. You're the, like I said, you are the wife of a superstar NBA player. And what dude would compete with Steph? A lot of dudes out there cannot compete with Steph. Steph's, um, you know, network is multi, is worth multi millions. What guy can compete with that? <clears throat> a very small number. You would have to go from Steph to at least a billionaire for them to compete with Steph. No average dude can compete with that. Not at all. So it's like, look, look, just look. If you look, just be happy with, you know, with what you're doing. Like I said, you know, there's a lot of platforms out here where you can get your own shine. You get, you know, you like cooking. Hey, go to one of these networks and pitch you a cooking show. I mean, okay, yeah, the first one did fail, you know, that you had on ABC, but still, there are other platforms you can get out there. Start a YouTube channel. You know, you like your Aisha Curry. You know, you have a personality. You're definitely beautiful. Your stuff would, you know, blow up in a minute. Especially everybody know that you're Steph's wife. 
But come on, that's just straight up disrespectful. And Steph don't deserve that. Steph is too good of a dude to be disrespected like that by Aisha. She's way, she was way out of pocket for that. If it's like that, then like I said, either y'all need to sit or, sit down and talk about some things, or maybe maybe just go your separate ways. LT, you still talking about the Bradley Bill trade? Say, I'm going to keep it real talking. That Bradley Bill trade ain't going to work. I'd rather see him with Miami over Phoenix, but Phoenix made the trade. Trade, it is what it is. He also said, We need a legend in Houston talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I lost the legend. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. RIP the big pokey. Yep, R.I.P. the big pokey, um, LT. What's up, Octa? Said Lakers for life. Said that's good how us good black men get treated. Yeah, there's def yeah, definitely. You definitely got a certain segment of women in our community who act like that. And I ain't gonna just say all black women act like that, not because that would be wrong. That would be wrong. It would be disingenuous also. But yeah, definitely good black men. There are a good se segment of good black men who definitely get mistreated. And that sucks. Like I said, Steph is a good dude. He don't he don't deserve that from Aisha. Like, OK, for example, whatever you may think about LeBron, do you, we don't never see Savannah acting like that. You ain't never heard Savannah acting like that. Matter of fact, you rarely hear a peep from her. The only time we see Savannah out there is if she's promoting something. If she's not promoting nothing, you don't hear one word from her. You definitely don't hear a word from her. And that's how I should, well, you know, if you like, okay, like if you ain't on the level of a Gabrielle Union, and I got my issues with Gabrielle Union, if you ain't no celebrity, you know, like that, then really you shouldn't be out there like that. But yeah, Aisha, she she was way out of pocket for doing that. And you do that on national TV where his people his people can see, your people can see it, his teammates. You know, who we don't know. That man's teammates could be clowning him either to his face in the locker room or behind his back. 